So now you've achieved the Gaussian dependency. C. Now it's time to get an accurate working length. And what, the way I like to get my working length is with the Promark Apex Locator or an electronic apex locator. Now the question is, are these electronic apex locators and specifically the Promark, are they accurate? Well, we know from studies from Fuad and Reed in 2000 that the electronic apex locators are more accurate and more predictable than conventional radiographic working length. Shabahang did a study looking at the Rudzi X in 1996 and he found that the Rudzi X was 96% accurate within a half millimeter of the, of the terminus. Pagavino did a study in 1998 and found that the Rudzi X was 100% accurate within a millimeter of the working length. And that's pretty exceptional. So one of the one of my favorite apex locators is the Promark apex locator and that's from Dinsply Serona. And I want to ask you, how do you get an accurate reading with this apex locator or any electronic apex locators? Well, the first thing you have to do is once you get patency, you have to achieve patency. When you re achieve patency and you feel like you're patent, I hook up the lip clip and then I put the clip onto the file and you want to be patent. You want the electronic apex locator to tell you that you're long, that you're in the periapical tissue, and then you want to bring the file back into the canal. Okay? If you see that where the reading is long and then it comes back into the canal on the apex locator, then you know that it's accurate. What I like to do is I actually like to be predictable. So I will do that two or three more times. I'll then put the file, I'll push the file back out into the uh, periapical tissue. And if it tells me it's long, and then I pull it back into the canal. And then it tells me I'm right there. That's my working length. Then I put my stopper down to my reference point, my cusp tip. I pull it out, I do my measurement, and now, voila, I have my accurate working length. Now what happens if it's not working? Now I hear a lot of this from, from my friends or colleagues. I can't get this thing to work, or I'm having trouble with the electronic apex locators. How can we avoid this? First thing I would do is make sure that the pulp chamber is fairly dry, yet the canals have fluid in it, and I usually have bleach in there. Okay? This just helps you get a more accurate reading. The second thing is make sure the file is not touching metal, and make sure that the, the fluid in the pulp chamber isn't touching metal, conduct, conducting those electrons and giving you an inaccurate reading. The third thing is you may not be patent. So sometimes I'm like, this is wrong. This is telling me I'm, I'm still short. I, this isn't, I'm, I know I'm patent. Well, you know what? You take an x-ray and you find out I'm not even, I'm four millimeters shy of the radiographic working length. So you may not even be patent. Now, sometimes if you do get an inconsistent reading on this and things just aren't adding up, what you want to do is you want to go to a larger file. So if you're using a 10, 10 file, move up to a 15 file. And a lot of times you'll get a more accurate reading with a larger file. So those are just some kind of some, some tips and tricks you can use in your practice to get a more accurate working length. Thank mm -hmm. you.